everybody, I'm Argelfumpf. This is a speed run for the bonus chapter in Lost Lands Dark Overlord. So I try to beat the uh, bonus chapter as quickly as possible. First, I uh, use the shears in order to get those antlers. Uh, I talk to this character um, because you can't interact with the screen unless you talk to them. I come here in order to get the cicada because the cicada is good for getting this tile. And uh, those are basically the two things that you have to do here at the start of the game. You have to get the cicada so you can get the tile, and you have to get the antlers in order to get um, the, the hammer into the house. So some of the other stuff I did there is optional. Like, you don't have to get the feather at this point. You don't have to get the seashell at this point. Uh, there are a lot of items in this uh, bonus chapter that you have to collect, and there's really no fantastic time to collect them. It's sort of like the main game, where you had to collect all those dragon parts, and they just sit in your inventory forever. That's what the seashells are like here in the bonus game. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, it turns out there is a better way to get the seashells. Like, a really good time to do that. Uh, I would not be surprised. But uh, here, I just try to get things as I go along. So this is uh, a mini game. We have lots of mini games uh, here in, in, in the uh, bonus chapter. The weird thing is uh, most of these mini games contain an animation. See that animation right there? So because of that animation, which automatically plays whenever you beat the mini game, it's actually faster to beat the mini game as intended as opposed to uh, beating the mini game using the skip button because you still have to watch that entire animation. That's actually only half of the animation. Um, I, I, I skipped the first half of the animation by beating the puzzle. Okay, so uh, um, next uh, the major thing is to get into the mermaid area. And you have to do that by getting the medallion, using on that thing so you get wax. Use that over here for the mushroom potion. And this will allow our main character Susan to breathe underwater. So, so far, it's it's pretty simple. Notice that I have, like, three different seashells. That's exactly what I mean about the seashells just being random items that you can collect at, uh, collect at any point in time. I wonder if there would be a different strategy for collecting... There's another seashell. Collecting all the seashells at the very, very end of this. Would that save you any time? I don't know. I picked up a feather there because you do have to pick up the feathers um, because the owl challenge happens pretty pretty close to the start of uh, this area. We're going to see it pretty soon. Uh, here on this screen, there's just a ton of items you can collect. So instead of trying to time it that you, you get the items in a specific order, I just grabbed everything. That's it. That was my strategy. Just grab everything. Uh, this challenge is pretty, pretty simple. You, you just want to be careful because two of the items get used on a different screen. So that would be uh, these last two items, uh, the scissors and the matches. So you just want to be careful of those. You want to finish with those because they're on a separate screen. Okay, so now I have everything for the owl challenge. And uh, also I have the uh, uh, medallion over here. But yeah, as you can see, it's kind of tough to navigate my inventory because now it's so full of random items that I won't be using for a while. It's kind of a shame. Okay, look up here. We're going to get rid of three items right now. We've got the owl and uh, the two feathers. And this puzzle can be kind of tricky. It's not supposed to be tricky. I just don't know why it always seems to uh, throw me off this particular challenge. Ah, there we go. Okay, got it. So uh, our next major goal is to get the five medallion pieces. That's why I did the owl challenge there. So that was one of the blue medallion pieces. This is going to give me a seashell for a puzzle. And we've got another medallion piece right over here. There's a blue medallion piece. On this screen, we've got like three or four different things to do here. But you have to visit this screen at least twice. Okay, so I'm getting the crab. I'm getting the medallion piece. I'm moving that big boulder. You have to visit the screen at least twice. So uh, I didn't finish everything that time because I knew I was coming back. The solution to this puzzle is the same every single time. And we have this little animation that plays once you're finished. Yeah, and that gives me another medallion piece. I believe that's the final medallion piece. So I'm warping back to the forest. And I use all the medallion pieces here. 
So as you can see, it would be easier if all the medallion pieces were on screen at the exact same time. I didn't have to play around with all these other items. And that's a minor cutscene, which I skip. I go forward and grab this figurine, and uh, I'm going back to the lake now. So uh, you use your figurine back on this screen, and uh, let's see. Uh, it's a slider puzzle. Okay, so this is the fastest solution to the puzzle. Uh, I think it's the fastest one. It's the solution I discovered. I assume it's faster than any of the other ones. Oh, that happens sometimes where the piece doesn't go all the way to the right. That stinks. So here I'm doing the lobster trap and uh, getting the treasure at the same time because there's an animation of the lobster walking, and that takes a while. So I save time by doing those two things at once. And I'll never go back to that screen again. The lobster gives me the medallion for this puzzle. I really like the music in this uh, section. It really feels like you're underwater. For whatever reason, this section of the game seems to really slow down my computer. I don't know why, because it's not a very slow section. I mean, it's not a very fast section where lots of things are happening. It's actually kind of slow, right? I'm, I'm just basically looking at uh, the same screen over and over again. It's not like I'm having a lot of heavy-duty animation here. Oh, did I mess up? I messed up. Tile piece on the floor. Whoops. Yeah, so because this section was so slow, um, this ended up being uh, the, the fastest... <laughs> My, my, uh, my fastest uh, part of uh, the speed run. So I, I recorded this segment um, like six times, and this was the fastest one because my computer slowed down a lot more on all the others. It's just kind of a slow segment, um, especially with the uh, this puzzle. This puzzle is kind of slow to do. And when I skip this puzzle, it'll give you an idea of uh, what I was talking about earlier with uh, animation playing whenever you skip a puzzle. So it is in your interest to try to solve this puzzle as quickly as possible. I don't know if you could beat this puzzle in under 30 seconds, but if you could, good job. If you can't, it's still worthwhile to try to beat the puzzle as quickly as possible because we're going to have an animation play. In just a few moments. Do, 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 do. Here, see the animation? Yep. So that's what I'm talking about when I, I, I said most of the, uh, the mini games in uh, this parts of the, the game have like an animation if if you uh, skip them. So I said segments. This is actually segmented speedrun. At every single hidden object screen, I started a new segment. That is, I just closed my game and then uh, replayed it. So, uh, I, uh, you know, there are only like four or five segments. There aren't that many hidden object screens in, in this uh, bonus game. But I should point it out, it, it was not like a, a single segment. This this is actually multiple segments. But together, I know some speedrunners really, really care about that. Okay, so I basically get the items there. There's other stuff I can do there, but um, not at this point. You give the nut to the squirrel, and then you warp away because that's a long animation with the squirrel. And we have this animal figurine puzzle. It's kind of a long uh, puzzle, but I want to clear out my inventory. So I get rid of four items, but uh, the one item I get uh, for solving this puzzle is a seashell. It's another seashell. So this is kind of a hard puzzle to do because you can barely see the notes in the upper right. I think if the notes had been twice the size so you could clearly see the animals, it would be easier. It, it, I mean, it would be easier just to have a much larger version of the solution on screen. So um, there is an animation that plays if you do not... Uh, if you skip that puzzle, there's an animation that plays. All the all the various animals switch places. So it, it takes a while. It takes a while. Okay, so back at the lake. I, I could have done this earlier rather than messing around with the animals. Um, and uh, it, you, you get that symbol. And uh, uh, those four symbols, and that lets you open the door. Um, I wonder if I could have warped away from this screen and then come back immediately to uh, save time. Eh, it wasn't that much of a time waster, but still, but still. Here's a valve. No, oh, not the valve. <laughs> Sorry, that's a hexagon. And this is another puzzle, which um, I think you should be able to do this before the, the skip meter fills up, but I was just unable to do it. I, uh, I am just not good enough at this challenge. This is one of the ones where it doesn't matter how far you are into the puzzle. It takes the same amount of time. This one doesn't actually have a, a longer animation. 
So, uh, we'll, we'll see this when I skip the puzzle. Everything that's, uh, not turned over is just gonna turn over all at once. So it doesn't matter if you have one matches, zero matches, or all the matches except one. It takes the same amount of time to skip that puzzle. Okay, so back over here, we're gonna use the eyeball that's gonna give us a screwdriver. And then the screwdriver is gonna be used over at the bathosphere. Okay, and this is going to put me back in that animal area. So I could have done the animal challenge uh, here, I guess, if I wanted to, as opposed to uh, doing it earlier. I don't know. And you have to go back to this screen, so this would have been another place uh, to do, like, the squirrel challenge. In fact, I think I'm clicking there on the left just to make sure I finish the squirrel challenge, because I wasn't quite sure if I had or not. I forgot. Sorry, I get caught up in the speed run, just going as fast as I can. You know, sometimes speedrunning is basically just doing everything by memory. Just sort of memorizing the route and just doing it over and over and over again. <laughs> um, oh, kind of messed up there. Forgetting which items to click. Uh, spyglass in the book and the valve. Yeah, so I forgot, like, the three items in the middle, but that's okay. I went back to them and uh, didn't waste that much time. Okay, so, uh, back over here. This is kind of a slow puzzle, and you'll see I can turn this thing multiple times while, uh, the board is still catching up with the turns. Yeah. Oh well, but, uh, that, that puzzle's fast enough. It's just three on the right and then two on the left. Uh, this gives me an item for the library, so I return all the way to the library there. And... Yeah, I wish uh, there was a way to, like, combine this with another library trip, uh, but you can't. <laughs> I've done all the other things at the library. You had to do them earlier uh, before you could get that stuff. Okay, so now, now that I have all of these seashells, I can finally get rid of them all. Uh, they all go over here. And I think uh, it's intended for you to, like, drop these off at uh, the cottage while you're playing the game normally. Just every time you get a seashell, come back here, drop off a seashell. Um, but I'm speedrunning, so I don't have time to constantly go back and forth between Uri's Cottage uh, and wherever I am. So I do have to save everything for the end of the game. Same with this challenge, um, with all these items. I guess if, uh, you know, like that main item had been like at the top of my inventory, it would have been worthwhile to do it uh, one of the other times I was here, but it's sort of buried towards the bottom of my inventory, uh, the first item for that puzzle. So it wasn't worth it to move the inventory around. It was actually faster to wait until the end of the game where it's on my inventory and I don't have to play around with my inventory. Uh, this was perfect. Clicked everything the exact uh, number of times you need to click it. And there, that's it. That's the speed run. There's this little animation that plays. <laughs> and then this animation. And then I hit the skip button. Done. That's the end. So that's the speedrun for Lost Lands uh, Dark Overlord, the bonus game. I hope you enjoyed it.